Hey everybody, it's track time. I'm at the Jackson Hole track for a track workout and I thought it was time and I'm, I'm ready to show you my 2019 run shoe system. I've got doo -doo 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 -doo. six six shoes that I kind of rotate in and out based on the purpose of the day and wanted to talk to you about that. So first, I'm gonna hit my track workout, do my warm up, hit my strength, my foot strength, muscle activation warm up, and then I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna go through these six shoes um, and in detail and tell you why, why I use them, what the purpose is and how they can help you. So, all right, see you in a minute. Track workout today was did hundreds, 200s, and 400s. I'm working on my cadence and working on faster turnover. As I mentioned in some of my other videos, I, I really kind of lost some leg speed with so much vertical the last few years. So this, this year, my focus is to get my leg speed back, my cadence back, and using a little bit more flatter. I've always done track, but I'm doing it for a different purpose this year. So anyways, um, shoe time been wanting to do this for a while for you guys and like I said I'm gonna show you my shoe system why I use certain shoes for certain purposes certain runs of the day and want to let well since we're at the track let's start with track here is the Nike zoom victory super light spiked so I use this for the track um, just because it's super, super light, it's just like, you know, it's, it just attracts you. So it makes you go fast, makes you, makes you load your calves and nice and uh, just uh, love the fit of the Nike and just a super, super light spike for, I, I chose, this is, there's many different types of, of spikes. This is more of your fast sprinting type of, probably up to maybe a 5K um, type of, of spike so it's very very much on the lighter side um, and more minimal side which I prefer so all right so again spikes for spikes for the track the next shoe is an old one I don't this is probably six or seven years old and it's the innovate I forget even what it was the road X light 155 the 155 means it's 155 grams. So you can see there's really nothing to this shoe. Even there's not even an outsole. It's just the, the midsole that's exposed, which makes it so light, so so flexible. I use this shoe for recovery runs on the road and long easy runs on the road where I want to use it as a strength training. Remember, every step can be a form of strength training 
and I use a shoe, a very minimal shoe like this, it's zero drop, um, for very, very easy runs, like I said, recovery or long runs just to build strength, um, to build my foot strength, to build my leg strength, and again, it's, it's got to be easy, and I just keep it easy, and I just, I just love this shoe, I, I only use it maybe once every other week or so, watch, which is why it's lasted so long. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll go several weeks without using it, but very, very pointed purpose of, again, recovery runs and long, super, super easy runs. Um, so again, I'm working that strength for legs and foot. So um, again, super, super minimal. This is the most minimal shoe I use for that purpose. So, so I've got track, I've got very minimal for easy recovery, and then my go-to road shoe for tempo, for ma mainly most of my runs, um, tempo intervals when I'm not at the track, my long moderate runs has been the Ultra Escalante. And I've really come to kind of like this shoe. I've had to kind of grow into the Ultra spectrum of shoes and have come to like this shoe. It's still, I think it's a half a size too large for me. Um, as far as I, I still have a lot of a lot of space with my narrow feet in in these shoes, so um, I think a, a, a size down or a half a size down for me would have made it feel even better. But again, the upper is kind of a knit fabric and it's just super breathable. Almost a little bit too chilly in the early spring here in Jackson, um, but again, just an overall good shoe. It's a it's a perfect um, blend of protection and the, the the stack height i want for long runs faster runs just my go-to road shoe um, that i've really come to enjoy so um, again it's the the ultra escalante this is the chicago marathon version and what i've got on my feet are the soft star mocks and I used these today at the track because it's a little warm and the turf gets hot for my bare feet. So I use these for doing barefoot track turf, barefoot um, drills and warm up. I'll do a lot of barefoot running around the track as my warm up. And when the turf gets super, super hot, I like to wear these when I can't go barefoot and burn my feet. I also wear them around town, just again, continuing to add foot strength whenever I can, trying to keep it as minimal as possible when I'm not running, which I feel is a lot of times um, the best opportunity we can continue to, to use our feet properly and, and have that good foot strength um, that's so, so important for running. So again, the Soft Star Mock, Again, I, I even use it out on the town with jeans. Um, it's just a kind of a super cool, um, just very versatile shoe that when, when you want to go real minimal and it gives a little splash of color with it. So um, so there, there's the road system. Again, we've got Ultra Escalante, the Nike Zoom Victory track shoe and my old trusted Innovate shoes that uh, for recovery. So now let's go to the trail system. And I'm gonna start off with the Solomon S Lab Sense 6. So this is last year's version and it's the soft ground, which for Solomon, the soft ground means for muddy, boggy, just soft ground. You know, and we don't have a lot of that. Um, I, so I, in this in this winter, I use this as my kind of my winter snowshoe. Um, but I've worn down the the lugs a little bit, but they, they have a, a little bit meatier lug to them, which is why it works so well with um, in the winter with the snow. So, but again, these are last year's. The the Sense Six version is is 2018. So I use these half part of last year and then as they worn i used them early season on trails on mountains and kind of were my early season go-to mountain shoe trail shoe um, that i love again I, I just love the the solomon s lab fit i mean i don't think you can beat it 
It just fits me really, really well, locks me down. I have confidence with it and it's just, it's just a dynamite shoe. And again, it was my go-to shoe early in the se early in the season. You can see it's starting to wear a little bit. So, um, I'll probably, um, probably won't get another winter out of this one, but eventually as things wear, it becomes kind of a road shoe as well. So I've talked about that in my last year's video and how I use last year's system. So, so with, with the Solomon Ultra, or the Solomon S Lab Sense 6 soft ground, I just got the new Solomon S Lab Sense 7. And now, like I said, this one is the soft ground version Meteor lug, bigger lug, less lugs, so you have the mud to get in between and, and just really kind of grip a little bit better on, on muddier terrain. The S Lab Sense 7 is this year's version of the hard ground. So you can see the difference in lug. Less height here, but more, more lugs. Okay, and the purpose of this shoe is for more hard ground, more rocky terrain, more the kind of the terrain I get all summer long. And so I just, I'm probably about a month into this shoe and it's the this year's version and they've, they've really kind of trimmed it up. You can see how they've really trimmed the heel, heel up, narrowing it up to save weight. This is under 200 grams. So it's super, super light and they've taken away even the heel counter so there's not much not much support there which i like and again now this has become my summer go-to shoe where things the, the trails i'm running are hard rocky um just not a soft ground type of shoe so this this gives me stickiness it gives me confidence on rock going up coming down especially coming down and it's just my favorite shoe they did change a little bit. They, I had to put in an old insert because they no longer put any type of insert in, which is fine and why it's lighter. But what I found is that with no insert, even the glued in insert they, they have with the last year's version, it let, allowed my foot to sink in deeper into the shoe. So I was getting a little bit of rubbing on the outside, kind of the pinky toe area um, that just was not very comfortable. And so I put put a, an old Solomon shoe insert that I had and that took that away and everything's fine. Again, under 200 ounces, super light shoe. And again, it's it's been my favorite shoe and it, it just can't beat the fit of, of the Solomon S Lab for me. Um, what, what you, you know, it's a very minimal shoe. And again, why I like it. So if this is kind of the shoe I will use on most days in the mountains, on trails, most any trail. What do I try to avoid doing though is going road to trail because one downside of these shoes, they're gonna wear very easy. It's sticky rubber. When you get sticky rubber, it's just gonna wear quicker. That's just the way it is. Um, it's kind of, I, I'm fine with with paying the, the $180 for this because it's such a high performance shoe, but it is gonna wear. And I'm just, I just accept that, but I, I just love the high performance of it. So, um, so again, I'll, I'll probably have run up to five hours in this. Um, and that's kind of slow in the mountains, you know? So I, I would say ideally this is kind of that three to four hour range shoe for me and anything under. And that, that's just kind of what I feel pretty comfortable with, which is why then I've added a new shoe to my system, which is the Ultra Superior. And the reason I've done this is that again, I've had kind of a love-hate relationship with Ultra just because I have narrow feet. Ultras are known to be a little wide in the forefoot, which is why a lot of people love them and I get it. Um, they're just a little bit squirrely as far as, as the width here for me. Um, I had to go down a full size with this for me to give me um, kind of the fit I like. Um, but I've come to really, really like this shoe. I've wanted to like this shoe ever since they first made it. 
and it's similar to a shoe that I actually helped produce a long time ago. So this is a shoe that I would actually look to try to make myself. And I did, but, um, so it's, it's, it's a zero drop. Okay. Very flexible. Okay. But what I use this for is it's just enough of a stack height and a little bit of comfort to allow me to use this as a really, really long distance shoe in the mountains when the pace is slower. Okay. What I lose in this shoe that I have with the Solomons is that it's just, I find it's just a little sloppy. And again, this could just be my narrow feet. I just don't feel as much control on when I'm running faster in this or when it gets technical, which is why, again, I use it for a really, really all day shoe where my pace is slower, the urgency is not there, and I can deal with a little bit of sloppiness when things kind of get technical. Um, but I, I love the ride. I love the, the kind of the protection it gives, but also the added, a little bit added stack, stack height just takes the edge off a little bit for an all day shoe um, without losing feel of the ground. And I, I still think this is a very, very good shoe to feel the ground, to work naturally, but give you a little bit more protection, a little bit more cushion again for those, for the all day shoe. Ironically, this shoe is, is more of the minimal shoe for Ultra. They have two more versions of of a shoe after this. So this is actually in their line meant to be the more minimal mountain shoe. And I'm, I'm using it just the opposite. This is kind of my maximal shoe. And, and you know, with my foot strength development and all the, all the attention I give to my foot strength and leg strength, you know, I'm able to use this as an all day shoe and actually more of my endurance shoe. So um, I love it. And I'll do a further full on review of this later. But again, that's, that's my shoe system and let me hear your questions um i think you know what we'll dive into foot strength and my philosophies on foot strength in other videos as i've put out in part one of why why foot strength and our feet are so important but i feel as we develop our foot strength it allows us to go into a lot of different shoes and the more minimal shoe with protection we use the better off we're going to be as runners. So again, you know, this is a very minimal shoe, but it gives me protection. It rocks, rocks hurt and I need the protection I need. So that's my system. Let me hear your questions, your comments. What are you using? What have you find works? Because again, every shoe is a little bit different. My feet are different than yours. Your feet are different than someone else's. So these are what, what really work for me. And let, let's kind of talk about, you know, what you're using and what you found to work. So, all right, that's all I got for you today. We'll see you next time. And um, I'm just gonna hang out here and catch some, catch some vitamin D. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.